high second grade. Um, this is your art to remember project. So you need your paper that you picked up at school, your pencil, and some crayons. I'm going to include the slideshow that I made for you to see. So we are modeling our picture after Claude Monet's um, picture of a tulip field, field and a windmill in a place called Rainsburg, Holland. So Holland is very famous for growing tulips. So you can see some pictures on the slideshow of the tulip fields and some pictures of windmills. Okay, so I'm only going to use my pencil to do the windmill. So I will show you my finished picture. Now windmills can be any color, so they don't have to be brown. Okay, and lots of times you can climb inside of them, you can go in them, so there's a door on mine. Some of them even have windows on them. But there's always blades that spin around. Okay, so I'm going to do my windmill first, then I'm going to do my sky, then I'm going to work on my tulip field. Okay, now these aren't really flowers, they're just marks on the paper, but they look like tulips. All right, so I'm going to start with my windmill. Now there's a couple different ways you can draw windmills. So the way that you see here, I just uh, drew sort of like an upside down ice cream cone, but I didn't put a point on it. And then I drew the blades. Okay. So this one, I think I'll do a little bit different. And I will make the sides come out like that. And then kind of down. Like that. And then I'll do my door. All right, and now, so I'm doing this in pencil because I'm gonna have to erase part of it because the blades are gonna go over part of it. All right, so already I need to erase that line. Same thing over here. I need to erase this one. Okay. And I'm going to have this one be the top one. So this one underneath you won't see those lines. And I think I need to make this one just a little bit longer. So we want them to be about the same size. Okay, so there's my windmill. Now I'm going to color it. And I think I'm going to use a different color than brown. So I'll use this teal color. So I just outlined it so it would show up a little bit darker around the outline. And then I just want to make sure that I color it so that 
I'm getting out all the white spots. All right, now the blades. So what I'm going to do is take my crayon and make some uh, lines that are dark. crisscross and then I'm going to just really lightly color them in with the crayon so the lines will show up dark and the other parts will be really light so you can really see those crisscrosses okay now the door so I'm going to use a darker blue for the door. And now I'll use black for the doorknob. Okay, so now I'm going to do the sky. So the first thing I want to do is draw a line across where I want my sky to be. And then I'm going to color it very lightly and I'm going to leave some cloud shapes that aren't colored in. So I'm just going to leave them white on the paper. going to kind of color around them. Now blue is a good color to use at the top because there are no blue tulips. There's yellow, red, purple, white, orange, but I don't think there's blue. There are not very many blue flowers. All right, so now I'm ready to start my rows of tulips. So I'm gonna take a lighter color and I'm just gonna make a rectangle and I'm gonna color the whole rectangle in with my light color. So I'm using light pink. And then I'm gonna take color that's similar to that color and I'm going to do my my tulips so I'm making my marks for my tulips so I'm just kind of scribbling some little lines they don't have to be in any order
And then I'm going to just take my green and do some green for leaves and stems. So I'm just making, again, just some green marks. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just kind of putting them in there so it looks like it's a field. And then I'll move over to orange. So I'm going to use a light orange for the next rectangle. I'm going to color it lightly. And then I'll take a darker orange and do the same thing, making my tulips. And then I'll do some green again. Okay. Now, we were talking in class today and somebody said, well, can I put a path going to my windmill? So I thought that was a good idea. So you could draw a little path if you want and maybe that's gonna be like a blackish, brownish color. And then I'm still going to keep doing um, more tulips. So this time I'm going to use pink for my background again. I think I'll just make it come to, I think I'll just make it do this whole part. And then I'm going to do red tulips. Red's a very popular color of tulip. Color this whole section in pink. And then I'll do red. All right, so you get the hang of it. And then I'll put another color over here, maybe yellow, and do some yellow tulips. Okay, so I, you'll be able to see my finished picture. I have this picture and this picture. And you'll be able to see those and finish it up. So when you finished, you'll need to have someone bring it to the school for you. So that way, and don't forget to put your name on it.
So that way I can send it to the company and they can make your art into things like coffee cups, keychains, t-shirts, um, bags, anything you can think of they have. Alright, so I will see you soon. Bye.